Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently a video of J20 went viral on social media. In the video you can see a puff black smoke coming out of the aircraft. From the initial look it might be confusing and give impression that there might be some problem with the fighter jet. However it is not. It was the auxiliary power unit of the aircraft which was puffing out the smoke and it's absolutely normal. This can be even seen in the American's fifth generation fighter F-22 Raptor. The F-22 is equipped with a hybrid APU that is auxiliary power unit called APGS that is auxiliary power generation system. It is located in the port wing route opposite of the cannon installation which is on the starboard wing route. The APGS used in F-22 is used to ground start the main engine of the fighter jet. It is also used for aircraft ground maintenance and in-flight emergency power for the aircraft recovery. The compressed air and the jet fuel fast start causes the release of the puff of smoke when the aircraft starts. Now the J-20 which is touted as the Chinese fifth generation fighter aircraft is alleged to have copied much of its technology and design from the American fifth generation fighter jet F-35. The aircraft conducted its maiden flight in 2011 and has been commissioned in the year 2017. It is now active in all five theater commands across China that is in eastern, southern, western, northern and central part of China. As per latest report, China has nearly 208 J-20s in its inventory. At the same time, China also has 240 J-16 fighter jets in its inventory. This aircraft derives its feature from Russian Su-27 and Su-30 fighter jets. China has also developed an electronic attack version of J-16 known as J-16D. China has also fielded 200 J-10C fighter jets which are the most capable single engine fighter in China's inventory. So in summary, PLA Air Force has more than 650 latest fighter jet which is a combination of both 5th generation and 4.5th generation fighter aircraft. So there has been a question and doubts around the Chinese aircraft quality and capability and we can always debate about it. However, these fighter jets are being upgraded continuously with better engine, electronics, avionics and weapons. The PLA Air Force has been rapidly inducting these platforms and gradually upgrading them which is very important. At the same time, Indian Air Force has just 36 Rafales in its inventory. The fighter jet is the best 4.5th generation fighter aircraft and can even take on PLA 5th generation fighter aircraft J-20. However, their numbers are quite less when it is compared with the massive modernized aircraft fleet of PLA Air Force. Indian Air Force need to rapidly modernize its inventory of aircraft to match the capability of China and also tackle Pakistan Air Force. The Indian Air Force is counting on its LCA Mark 1A, Mark 2, MRFA and AMCA programs to add the fighter jets of 4.5th and 5th generation to its fleet. 83 LCA Mark 1A has already been ordered and deliveries will commence from 2024 onwards and complete by 2029. The LC Mark II is expected to complete development by 2027 and intend to full-fledged production by 2029 or maybe a year early. The funding for AMCA is yet to be approved and expected induction is by 2035. Now beside these indigenous programs, the MRFA which is going to be under Buy Global and make in India category must also be progressed sooner so that its delivery can also commence in parallel or even earlier than the deliveries of LC Mark II. The Indian Air Force will also have to look into the force multiplier assets such as airborne early warning systems where it is lagging behind even Pakistan when it comes to numbers. The Air Force currently operates three Falcon Avox and three Netra Mark I AW and C. The upgraded version of Nitra Mark 1 that is Mark 2 is on orders however the platform will be ready only by 2013. 
In interim, and Air Force must look for a repeat order of Nitra Mark 1 based on Embraer EMB 145 platform as it can be developed much faster. Indian Air Force needs at least 15 to 20 airborne early warning platforms to handle two front war situations. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.